Yep. Seems to be up. So, welcome to your full moon in Capricorn reading here. This one says, the end of a tough cycle approaches, right? And as you can see, this is a nice big full moon. I think ours just ended recently. Um, it was full for like at least three days, really big and full in the sky. Um, even during the 4th of July fireworks, you could see it big and full. So um, the end of a tough cycle approaches. It says, how hard are you willing to work for what you want? This card is reminding you that effort is required. Uh, work issues may be about to come to a head when this card comes up. If you're wondering if you should stay in your job or leave, this card can be a strong sign to make an exit. It's also asking us to face reality about situations in our lives. Um, we have to prioritize our life and find a balance. Um, a lot of things of finding balance have been coming up lately, like with your personal life or your private life um, versus what you show on the outside, right? And trying to balance that. Because um, a lot of times, you know, we're one... Well, we show one thing when we go out in the streets. You know, we got the big smile on our faces and we're covering and masking. But then when we go home, there might be a level of sadness or loneliness or hopelessness. It's time to just balance all of that out and just be you. Be true to who you are, right? Because you're not different. There's so many people facing the same things you're going through. And maybe there's a solution by sharing as opposed to just holding it in, right? So release control and trust the universe. That's the attunement to this moon, right? Um, so that's from the Moonology deck. Next, I pulled some energy oracles and three, I don't know, for some reason, I just kept prompt, getting prompted to pull out more than one. So the first one that came out was woman holding a coin. And I thought this was sweet because it's, so like when you pull these cards, uh, sometimes it comes out reverse like this, and sometimes it comes straight up. So when I go to read the book, you know, the energy on it, I always say to myself, I'm going to read what I think is most important for now, right? So this is about female connection and money, health, or value. And this time, instead of reading the upright, I'm going to read the reverse. This, in, this card could indicate that you're feeling unsure or fearful about finances or some type of health issue you may be experiencing. Um, it could also reveal a lack of value for yourself in your own life. And that's what I want to talk about right now. Because I think that we allow the thoughts and opinions of others to control what we think about our own selves, right? So this card is asking us, to release anyone else's negative vibration and influence on you at any time. Release any toxic connections and know that you are free to define and value yourself no matter what. Okay? Sometimes people devalue you. They criticize you. Um, and they have very harmful energies that could influence what you feel about yourself. And it's time to let that go. Okay? Grab hold of this woman holding the coin is you. I don't think it's a person on the outside of you that, that you're looking to come into your life. It's you. You hold the bag. You hold the value of yourself. Okay? So self-care and self-love. All right? And then the next card that came out in the Energy Oracle is action. And I love the, the balance of the black and white here in action. Um... The two horses running side by side. Um, they say this is about energizing effort and a willingness to work, right? And that's towards anything. Anything that you think of in your life right now. You're on the right track and you have to, like there's, so what we do in our family is we create family mottos. And our one of our biggest family mottos is Kuji Chagalia, which is um, from the Ungu Saba which is the seven principles, and it means self-determination. So in Kwanzaa, during Kwanzaa time, um, 
where many people celebrate Christmas. That second day of Kwanzaa is very important to my family. Uh, Kuji Chagalia means self-determination, and that's what this is asking you to do. You have to make more uh, of a determined effort, right? Um, the black horse is about your outer work, right? And the white horse is about your interaction of spirit and your thoughts, okay? So it's just asking you to put forth your best energy to yourself. Not necessarily to everything external, but to you. Going back to the woman holding the coin, you hold the bag, right? So this energy is about you this time around. Not necessarily others around you. But once you, I think once you step into the energy of loving yourself, self-care, putting that determined streak of energy within your own self, then you're able to help everybody else around you. And that opens the door to romance, <laughs> to self-love of yourself. Um, I know that, you know, this card may speak of a new beginning. It's, it's about new beginnings in love, but I think that's about new beginnings in love of the relationship you have with yourself. Not necessarily those on the outside of you, but I know that when you start self-loving, self-caring for yourself, then you can invite others to self-love and self-care to you. Okay, so it says, um, let's see, a new love may be arriving and you are being brought together by a strong resonant connection. This may be a call from the past life or it may be a new tenderness about to bloom into heartfelt affection. But it's also telling you, because I'm going to read the reverse side, it says, um, remember to make yourself and your own happiness a priority. Encourage yourself. And always acknowledge how valuable and deserving you are of receiving your own love and that of others. Such choices in your attitude and self-treatment will shift any old energy of self-dismissal. Changing your core consciousness and all that you attract. So tell the universe you're ready for real love because you're finally willing to give it to yourself. Okay? Going back to the same things we were talking about with the woman holding the coin and the action card with the white horse and the black horse. I think I want to say something else about those horses, though. Um, let's see. Wait a minute. Let me find what I wanted to say. Because I think <clears throat> with these white, with the white horse and the black horse, the action plan, right? It's asking you to create a structured plan and then make sure you take daily action towards it, right? So be flexible, but be persistent on what you're trying to do for yourself. So I just wanted to put that back. Something told me to come back and say that. All right. So then we moved on to the goddess guidance for the full moon in Capricorn, Kuan Yin. I love Kuan Yin whenever she comes out. And I, I had a feeling she was going to come out. I don't know why. It's something about this self-love and self-care theme, right? So... She's about compassion and releasing judgments about yourself and others and focus on love and light that is within everyone. So she's asking you to, to, to listen to the words that you speak to yourself, right? Because the first thing before you even speak is a thought first, okay? So be kind and compassionate to yourself first. The, um, she said, transform harshness and gentleness by refusing to see anything but the shining light that's within each person, situation, and especially yourself, right? Be gentle, be happy, be kind, be sweet. But most of all, be true to yourself. And that's very important right now as we come out into this hot climate of July, right? <laughs> Capricorn energy especially is about um, self-energy earthing earthing within yourself right so we look at capricorn as that taking care of your needs energy and it's a full moon in capricorn so they really focused on this right now energy is focused on that so the overall message <clears throat> i went to the oracle of seven energy and i pulled the overall message for this reading but before i do that i just want to show you what i pulled um prior to this about self-care and self-love the first one that came out was pleasure pleasuring of yourself you can take that any way you want 
just look at the card, okay? Learn how to give pleasure to yourself, intimately or not, okay? It could be reading a book. It could be cooking your favorite food. Yes, it could be masturbation, <laughs> but pleasure yourself first. Know what you like, okay? The next one that came out was soak in a tub. <laughs> soak in a bath, right? Pull out your incense, your candles, pull out your crystals, your favorite ointments, and, and care for pleasure yourself, okay? So that was the second self-care. And then flow like water. Be flexible, be adaptable, and let things flow. Don't hold on to anything. Let it go by soaking in that bath. Let it go and just flow like water, right? So I thought that was very interesting for self-care right now during our full moon in Capricorn. And that's why I pulled those cards. And then I pulled a card about self-love, co-create, which is about also bringing in those new possibilities, but cooperating with a, with a uh, synchronicity or integration and balance right now, okay? So co-create not only with others, but with yourself, meaning your mind, your body, and your soul. Bring all that in right now for the full moon in Capricorn. Um, so let me move to our overall reading, okay, which is Close Encounters. And I love this card because it shows this beautiful butterfly caged. And it's like, wait a minute. Butterflies are meant to flutter. They're meant to move, right? So it says, close encounters, the key concepts is vulnerability as a strength, letting others see your wounds as well as your strengths, setting healthy boundaries. And that's what I meant when I said um, taking the mask off and really balancing out your private and your person, your, your private and personal life versus your outer mask or what you become when you go out around people, right? So let's read this a little bit. This is a time of connection that asks for you to be vulnerable and authentic. Let go of any social marks or masks that constructs. Wait a minute, I'm sorry. It says let go of any social masks or constructs you use to keep yourself apart from others. Lower your shields and allow yourself to step into the dance of intimacy. Okay, coming right back to our energy cards. At a deep spiritual level, there are so many lessons offered to you in this closeness. At a social level, intimate relationships help you to ignite the spark of life that is power of infinity. You flourish as a result of offering emotional honesty, a true desire for equality, love, friendship, and laughter. We aren't meant to be alone. Yet sometimes we are wounded and we build walls around ourselves so we don't get hurt again. But now you can step out fully into your power, okay? And know that you are loved. Even if it's just you loving yourself, be raw, be open, be willing to be seen, right? There's so much to celebrate when you stand eye to eye, shoulder to shoulder, sharing your heart. It goes right back to our energy. So be kind and compassionate to yourself by being a little vulnerable. So our moon magic affirmation is, I assess matters carefully and discern wisely. Waxing Gibby is one. I assess matters carefully and discern wisely. So don't, don't fools rush in, but definitely discern everything that's coming at you right now. And then move forward. Our divine power affirmation is I wake up eager for the day, ready to live my purpose and walk in my power. I wake up eager for the day, ready to live in my purpose and walk in my power. And then your manifestation affirmation. So this is about manifesting abundance in your life on all levels. I am one with all. And you are. You're not different. Everyone experiences everything in lifetimes. So you really are one with all. Not to mention plants, flowers, trees, rocks, mountains, the air, the stars, animals. We are one with all of that. We all possess that God spark. 
The earth is always, always, always vibrating, always moving. So if the earth is always moving, there's vibration in everything. There's a frequency to everything. There's energy in everything. Even this card I'm holding right now has a certain frequency. It's a slow, dense frequency. That's why you're able to hold it as a solid. This crystal has a frequency. It has energy. Okay? Everything is energy. Every little thing that you see is energy. It's moving all times. It may not be moved. Some things move faster than others. And some things move really slow like a sloth. Right? So we are one with all. So overall, this vulnerability, you know, having more self-care, self-love, loving yourself, um, taking that mask off, knowing that this, whatever this is that you're going through right now, it will end. It will end. You know, this too shall pass is what I will title this. Okay? Because I think it's very important for you to understand that you are powerful. You're a co-creator. And love is all there is. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening. I love you all so very much. Please take time to do what makes your soul happy. Right? And check out my website, www.happylightbeing.com. See it here. For any healing modalities, readings, um, artwork, uh, events, uh, anything that I offer, I give lovingly. Not freely, <laughs> but definitely lovingly. So take time to do what makes your soul happy. Be happy, be light, be loved. Namaste. Happy full moon in Capricorn.